Hi everyone, I'm Christine Justy of Mail Something Pretty and I have this really fun project to show you. I'm really excited. Um, I came up with this project for um, a club project, but um, I think it, it's a great little favor or something that, you know, just as a little thank you gift or Mother's Day or, you know, for any any sorts of reading teacher gift, you know, they're little packets of seeds. So I made the little packet out of vellum and um, I'll show you exactly how to put them together. And I just think it's so sweet, but you could put other like little things inside, any types of seeds. I just use sunflowers, um, but I, I just think it's really sweet. All right, so let's put one together. So I already kind of have my, my pieces cut. Um, hopefully you can see that it's because it's vellum. But I'll show you how I cut it. So these are the mini, they're called the mini pocket envelope dies. And they are still available, let's see, as of today, March, no, May 11th, 2023. Um, they are not in, so th they're not in this catalog, but they're in that new online exclusives section of the catalog. So if you just go to mailsomethingpretty.com slash shop, that will bring you to the store, the online store. And the search bar in that top right section, just write, e even if you just type in envelopes um, and then apply or, or go or whatever it is and then you scroll down and the, these dies will appear in everything that includes the word envelope um, so they are still available and they're really versatile so you can use them like I closed them here but if you left it open a gift card will put in you could make cute little and I've done it before cute little note cards to put little note cards in to use it as an envelope um, you could, I was saying this at club, you could throw like a $20 bill in here through the vellum. Someone could see through it. And, um, like, I just think it was, it's cute. And I really like it cause they have, um, three different, actually four different label shapes that I use for all sorts of projects. Um, these will make like a 3d bow and, um, you have the leaf, you have this little hinge. Um, this makes a little, um, hole like, or, um, you use it separate. So you could use it as a, um, an opening like a for a ribbon um, or it's like a hole and then a little um, cute little tag or an envelope so anyways I just want to show you that you can get them in the online exclusive section of the um, store so I already cut this here's the die I already cut it through my machine with the um, the vellum and with vellum it's just really sturdy it's almost like plasticky um, so it, it holds up really well. You get kind of score lines right in the middle on the edge and on the bottom and they are Because it's vellum you have to kind of Manipulate it a little bit. So I just want to make sure the cardstock would fold over really easy So I just want to make sure as I fold my tab is still kind of there And I'm going to use my own folder and it makes a like it makes a really crisp fold. Wait till I do the next part. It's almost like we don't even have to glue it shut. So this will, sorry, my thumb is sore. This will get folded over, and I will fold it. And look at how it just seals that really nicely. And if I was just putting like paper, like a little card or something in it, I would probably even leave it. But since I'm putting seeds in there. I am going to seal it shut just to make sure it doesn't come apart. So I'm going to open that up again. I know we just folded it, but I'm going to open that up and I'm just going to close it as it's closed. Like sometimes when you use pretty paper, you put the seam like on the inside. This one I'm just putting right on the outside. It's just, oh, I might be able to see that better. I am going to use tear and tape. Um, I could use glue it would just take a little bit to dry because it has that kind of plastic like it's I'm not as porous as like paper. So I'm just going to put tear and tape along the edge there. And I'll put it along this edge too. All right. So the tear and tape is a little wider than my tab. And I'm going to show you what I did. This one's not too bad. Um, but I'm just going to fold over wherever it's too wide, just fold it over on itself and then close it shut. We'll do the same thing for the bottom. I love making like little gardening projects. So it's really happy. Yeah, you can see on, well, hopefully you can see this one has a little bit of a wider 
overage, so I'm just going to fold it on itself and then fold it down. So I just think these are cute. So now I have that little pocket and it's pretty sturdy. So before I fill it, let's get all these pieces squared away. I was trying to find out, so I cut these, I had three little flowers. I think I did them in Daffodil Delight. Um, I was just looking quickly through the catalog. I didn't see the die set that I used, so it could be that it's a retired one, but it had three at once, which made it easier for Club because I could cut them all at once, or cut one person's at once. But there's so many die sets or even punches that have um, little flowers. All right, and so I have uh, my stamp says just for you, and I took that from the Charming Sentiments. Where is it? Right in the middle. I figured that it could be for anything, any reason, any person. You know, it's not significant, like sign signifying why. It's just a little gift just for you. And then that those are messy, but those are the dies that go with the um, the sentiments. But I didn't even use them for this one. I just used the stamp. This is Grainy Apple Green, which is a little bit darker than my, I think that was Parakeet Party. So it's a little bit darker. And the oval is from that same die set, the mini envelopes dies. Okay, so that's good. So I'm going to actually put my pieces together on my little mat here before I put them on my envelope. So just tiny little glue there. These are, they're kind of weird flowers. I don't even know if they're supposed to be flowers. But I'm making them flowers. <laughs> I don't know if they go inside of a bigger flower. I wish, I think it was penned, penned something. It was the stamps, the, the bundles that I used. But it very well could be on the online exclusives too. I didn't think it retired, but I will go back and look. Oh, that's, that's stuck. Yep. And that has... There we go. I'm getting fussy and it really shouldn't be fussy because it's just a little, a little something. All right. So as that dries, you also get in that mini envelope die this little hinge piece. So there's a little score line. So I'm going to fold that. What I'm going to do is actually, actually I'm going to put glue on just a little bit because it will slide all over the vellum. So I'm going to have my opening is facing me. So I'm going to put this on the top, on the bottom and the top of the top piece that we will fold over in a second to make a sealed envelope. I'm done with my glue. All right. So now I need to punch a hole because I, I can't string it through there because I have the vellum. This is a really old, really old punch, but I like it because it's, it, um, it's just soft on my hands. You don't really have to squeeze really hard. All right, so I just punched a hole and I'm gonna fold that down. There was no score mark, so I just kind of folded it on my own. So now I have this little envelope. So now, make sure I didn't get ink on my fingers. I'm gonna put some seeds in there. So I have sun, sunflower seeds. This is what I feed my birds. And many times the chipmunks will steal some of the seeds and in different parts of my yard, I'll find little sunflowers growing because they put them in their cheeks and they run around and then they drop them. And then um, I have little sunflowers growing. So I know they work. I'm just pulling out there's some, um, I don't know, sticks or debris or whatever in there. I just want the seeds in my envelope here. Put them in my little pocket. And then I'll close that shut. And then I'm going to use some twine. And I'm going to stick it through the hole here. And wrap it around. Make sure I have enough to tie a bow. I'm going to give myself more than I usually do just because my hands aren't working as usual. All right. So this, I can tie that shut.
and the twines I'll show you all the colors I actually used the ink color twine from last year and one of them I have linen thread there we go little bow you can leave that or you can trim it there we go. trimmed it and then what I'm going to do is just put that on there. I'm actually going to put two dimensionals so that it will straddle the twine, but you could put it flush if you wanted to. I mean, you could even leave it like that. I think it's cute, but the little label on there makes it even cuter like that. So there you go. There's a little package of seeds. So again, that's the um, Starry Night, Starry Sky. That one's Linen Thread. That one matches, that's the Parakeet Party. Orchid Opulence. Let's see, and the Soft, the um, Sweet Sorbet. I just didn't do the Tahitian Tide one yet, but that would work too, because they all come together. Let me put these down. I just think these are really sweet. Nice little gift to give someone, and you saw they're pretty easy to put together. And you can put all sorts of things inside. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you liked the project. I'd love to hear, put in the comments what you liked. And um, feel free to share with anyone that you think would like this, if any, any garden crafter would like a little project. So thanks very much. I'm Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.